Hello everyone, this is Dr. Meer Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to solve April 2023 university question paper under subject project management for TYBMS M6 students. Okay, again a very important video. In this, we are going to take up all the practical sums which are there in April 2023 under project management subject. So, chalo, let us see what all questions were asked and how to solve them in the most simple is manner okay the very first question practical question which was asked in this particular paper was question number 2a star limited is considering two mutually exclusive project both the project got an useful life of five years and the cost of capital is 10 percent and the initial outlay that is the initial investment is two uh, is two lakhs now they are giving you future cash inflow of project 1 and project 2 and PV at 10% is also given for 5 years. You are required to evaluate the project based on NPV method. Okay. Now NPV ka basic formula is out, uh, you know, the total PV or total cash inflow ka PV minus outflow. Now outflow is already given us as 2 lakhs. Okay, so we need to first find cash flow ka, uh, the, the PV, the present value of cash inflow. So let us see how to start with that. First, I'm going to start with project one. Okay, columns will be years. Uh, we'll have project, we have PV factor and PV. So four columns, we need years, cash inflow, okay, PV factor and PV. Under year, we note down one, two, three, four, five. There are five years. Cash inflow may the whatever is given in the question 35, 80, 90, 75, and 20. Under PV factor, we, we note down 0 0.909, 0 0.826, 0 0.751, 0 0.683, and 0 0.621. Now, in order to find PV, that is present value, is very simple. You have to multiply cash inflow with PV factor, and that will give you present value. Okay, so 35,000 into 0 0.909. 80,000 into 0 0.826, 90,000 into 0 0.751, 75,000 into 0 0.683 and 20,000 into 0 0.621. We multiply, we get the values and we need to total the value. That is our total PV, uh, cash inflow ka PV, okay? So we multiply, these are the values that you all should have got. 31, 815, 66, 80, 67, 590, 51, 225, 124, 20, the total of which comes to 2,29,130 Okay, once we get the total now we can apply it into the formula. So NPV is total PV minus investment total PV was 2,29,130 and your investment is 2 lakh when you subtract it we get a net present value of 29,130 Okay, so this was of project 1 now we need to find project 2 in the exactly same manner okay so let us see okay so let us see how we start with the project 2 again same column we'll have years uh, inflow uh, we'll have pv factor and pv years may 1 to 5 amounts may 1 like 18 60 40 14000 and 13000 pv factor remains as it is 0 0.909 0 0.826 0 0.751 0 0.683 and 0 0.621 Again, same logic, we need to multiply cash inflow with PV factor, we will get a total PV. Okay, so we multiplied and we will get the values at 1,72,62, okay, 49,560, 30,040, 9,562 and 8073. You add up, we get 2,4497. Once we get that, we need to apply into the formula. NPV is total PV minus investment. So total PV was 204497 minus 2 lakh 4497. The first NPV we got was 29,000 and the second one is something around 4,000. So in that case, the first project is a better because it gives you a higher NPV. So we can write that project one is better. So if an investment needs to be made, project one should be selected. Okay, this is how you had to solve this particular sum which was costing 15 marks. I hope everyone have understood this. Now let us see the next question which was there in this particular paper. Okay, again a very simple sum. Question number 3a. Calculate the degree of operating leverage, degree of financial leverage and combined leverage for both the companies 
we have firm abc and pqr given to us okay they are giving you sales they are giving you variable cost per unit okay they are giving you fixed cost they are giving you output in units and they are giving you interest so let us see how to solve columns will be we will have to note down income statement okay under that particular abc and pqr we have to start with the income statement now income statement we know we should know it is very simple we start with sales less variable cost gives you contribution less fixed cost gives you uh, you know earning before interest and tax and less interest gives you earning after tax uh, earning before tax okay so that format we need to create so in the same way sales is given into our question 3 lakh 60 and 7 lakh 50 so we noted down less variable now variable ko be careful it is per unit 20 rupees and we have 6000 units for abc 150 and 1500 units for pqr we multiply we get the variable as you know 1 lakh 20 thousand and 2 lakh 25 thousand okay it is 20 for the first one and 150 for the second one okay so i've just noted down here 20 and 150 Okay. After minusing it, we will get a contribution. So the balance comes to 2,40,000 and 5,25,000. Less fixed cost, fix is given as 72,000 and 1,40,000. We minus it and we get a earning before interest and tax as 1,68,000 and 3,85,000. Once we get our earning before interest and tax, next thing will be less interest, 40,000 and 80,000. We minus it and we get a final earning before tax as 1,28,000 and 3,5,000. Okay, once we have got that, now we just need to apply into the formulas. We have solved the major part, okay, the income statement. Now we just need to apply and get the values one by one. Formula first formula will be operating leverage. Formula is contribution upon EBIT. So in the first case, contribution is 2 lakh 40 thousand upon 1 lakh 68 thousand. Second one will be 5 lakh 25 upon 3 lakh 85. We get the respected values as 1 lakh 1.43 and 1.36. Same way we need to find financial leverage formula is EBIT upon EBT. So it will be you know 1 lakh 68 upon 1 lakh 28, 3 lakh 85 upon 3 lakh 5. We divide and we get the value as 3.1 uh, 1.31 and 1.26. Last is combined. Combined is nothing but the multiplication of both these. So combined is operating leverage into financial leverage. So 1.43 into 1.31 gives you 1.87. 1.36 into 1.26 gives you 1.71. Okay, so this is how you are allowed to solve question number 3a based on leverages. Again, a very simple, you just need to make the income statement and you need to know the formula. Okay, now the next question which was there was question number 4a, again that was for 15 marks. Uh, they have given you from the following is the balance sheet of uh, Summer Limited. They are giving you equity shares. They are giving you security premium. They are giving you basically all the liabilities and assets. Company transfer 20% of profit after tax to GR. Three years ka profits have been given. Machinery is valued at 6,37,200. Average yield is 20%. Rate of tax is 50%. Use simple average. Calculate value of equity share as per intrinsic value method and yield value method so two methods that we need to find the value of shares so we start with first intrinsic value also known as the net asset method formula the, the format is very simple we need all asset less liability so under assets okay under assets we'll have machinery the very first thing but we have to take machinery six lakh thirty seven two hundred next furniture two lakhs Stock 12 lakh 40,000, debtors 4 lakh 12,000, cash 6,800, and cash at bank 6 lakh 68,000. We add up, we get the total as 33 lakh 64,000. Less liabilities. Now, liabilities are only outside liabilities. So, we have creditors and we have provision for tax. So, cre creditors are 8 lakh 18 and 3 lakh 96 is the provision for tax. We subtract it and we get the value, you know, that is amount available to the equity shareholder. So 33,64 minus 81,800, uh, 8,18,000 and minus 3,96, we get the value as 21,50,000.
वंस यू गेट नेट एसेट मेथड द फार्मूला वर्क वंस यू गेट द नेट एसेट अमाउंट ऑफ अवेलेबल टू इक्विटी शेयर होल्डर वी अप्लाई टू द फार्मूला वैल्यू ऑफ शेयर एज पर इंटरसिक मेथड इज अमाउंट अवेलेबल टू द इक्विटी शेयर होल्डर डिवाइड बाय द नंबर ऑफ इक्विटी शेयर्स सो अमाउंट अवेलेबल इज 21 लाख 50000 एंड इक्विटी शेयर अवेलेबल विल बी यू नो 10 लाख डिवाइडेड बाय 20 सो वी हैव 50000 शेयर्स so you divide it and we get a final value as rupees 43 per share this is as per intrinsic value method oh oh also another net asset method so i hope everyone have understood that this is only the first part okay where we have completed intrinsic value now let us see the yield method okay that is little different that is also known as the capitalization method so let us see the second is the yield method now yield method ke liye the very first thing again you need to find uh, you know the uh profit available to the equity shareholder but with the help of profit so we need to first find average profit for average profit okay they are giving you 3 years ka profit 5 lakh 44 7 lakh 32 and 7 lakh 88 so i write but you know profit of 544 profit of 732 and 788 we do add up we get the total amount as 20 lakh 64000 okay so we need to find average average will be this amount divided by 3 so we get it as 6 lakh 88000 After getting the average profit, they are giving you adjustment. Twenty percent has to be transferred to GR. Okay, that is after tax. So first you need to minus the tax. So tax given here is fifty percent. So less tax at fifty percent, three lakh forty-four will give you, you know, profit after tax. Of that, we need to transfer twenty percent to GR. So three lakh forty-four thousand ka twenty percent transfer to GR comes to sixty-eight thousand eight hundred. We less it and we get the final amount available or profit available two lakh seventy-five thousand. 200 once we get that profit available the next step in under yield method we need to find expected rate of return okay so you know we know the value of share the formula is expected rate of return upon nrr into paid up value but for that we need expected rate of return okay so for expected rate the formula is you know available profit that was 22 lakh 75 out 200 upon equity share capital Which is ten lakh into hundred, so two lakh seventy five two hundred upon ten lakh into hundred, the value comes to twenty seven point five two percent. Okay, once we get expected rate of return, we can put in the value of share ka formula where expected rate of return is twenty seven point five two upon NRR. Normal yield is given as twenty percent into paid up value of one share, which is again twenty rupees. So twenty twenty get cut. So what is remaining is twenty seven point five two. rupees that is the value of share as per yield method okay i hope everyone have understood that so these were the three uh, major questions which were asked in 2023 april question paper of uh, project management okay chalo i hope everyone have understood them all the three sums are very simple certain rules are need to be known okay if you are, uh, are not aware over the rule uh, videos specifically based on these topics have been already uploaded you all can go through that also okay chalo with that we will be ending this video here thank you